Hey everyone, it's Caitlin K, and I'm here with the What's in My Hospital Bag video. So I am currently 38 weeks. I will be 39 weeks. Today's Friday, so I will be 39 weeks on Sunday. And I'm just so bothered because I just want to have this baby. I'm just tired. Like, I want to enjoy it and just you know soak up all the pregnancy love and all that stuff but it's enough now like I want to meet my daughter I want to hop into my new phase of life as a mother of two and just get used to things you know but let's get into the video so I plan on using this black carry-on for my thing and then this Victoria's Secret bag for baby girl so the first thing on my list of things I am packing is this hospital gown and I know that the hospital provides a hospital gown, but I just didn't enjoy the one that I had the first time. Like, I know that you're supposed to be exposed and all because obviously you won't be wearing underwear and everything, but I just didn't like how my butt was out. And during my first pregnancy, I wasn't really walking around and trying to use like an extra bo exercise ball and everything. And now with this pregnancy, before I have the epidural, I want to be able to walk around, use the exercise ball, use the peanut ball. And in doing that, with the hospital gown that they provide, my butt is just going to be everywhere. So I like the fact that this one um, comes with buttons in the back. This obviously can all be buttoned up, um, but it gets buttons all the way down to the bottom. And then for breastfeeding, you can also pop these buttons as well. So yeah, I like them and it's cute, pink. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's comfortable and I like it. Next up, I have this pajama set. So I got the top as well as the bottom. So I just wanted to bring something that I would be comfortable in. I actually did try it on. I'll put a video over here so you guys can see how it looks on me. But it's really comfortable. I love the material. It's cute. I also have this gown. I don't really know how I feel about it. First of all, I'm annoyed that I even got a medium. I don't know why I got a medium. I should have a large. I think that's why it's so short um i'm gonna insert a video of me trying it on right here but yeah i mean it's cute and it i think it's gonna go with um the swaddle and headband that i got for baby z i'm excited to take pictures with her with this so next i want to go over what i plan on wearing going home so right about now maryland is really cold um so i want to just be able to Bring something that's really cozy and that's going to keep you warm. So I'm bringing these long soft socks. This long sleeve gray shirt. These gray shorts. And then since it's going to be pretty cold. Nice little cardigan. It's actually the gray version of this one that I'm wearing. But so nice and cozy. These two um, breastfeeding bras. So obviously has the um, clips back here. And then to breastfeed, so the bra is worn like this. To breastfeed, all you gotta do is pull this part, and then you can pull your boob out, breastfeed baby, put it back on. Simple. Next, I have a dark towel because a dark towel just makes sense. It just makes sense because there's gonna be a lot going on down there, and yeah, y'all know. If you know, you know. So I know the hospital provides those mesh panties. Which I didn't really have a problem with. Like I see a lot of people buying their own. But I don't think it's necessary. But I do plan on bringing these high waisted undies. Just in case. Because my preference could change. And I probably wouldn't like the mesh underwears that they have. So I just plan on bringing three high waisted underwears. Super comfy um, for postpartum. Got these from Amazon as well. So um, also everything that I'm mentioning. If it's on Amazon I'll link the... Um, links below in the description box next up are these flip-flops that i got and these would just be solely for taking a shower because you know those hospital floors are next up are just my bedroom slippers just keeping them in this bag because they've been used around the house and i don't want them touching my stuff in my um, carry-on so next up is my toiletry bag first thing first lotion so i didn't think it made sense for me to bring the actual bottles of my face wash and my face moisturizer so I just put them in these little bottles that I got from Amazon. So this is my face moisturizer. This is my body oil, the Vino body oil, and then my face wash. Then I'm including deodorant, 
this nipple cream and it's funny because i don't use this for my actual nipples i actually use this for my lips tiktok made me buy it and try it and i love it it kind of gives that like lip gloss effect but it's very moisturizing and i just love the way it looks my serum bring a scrunchie and a hair clip for my hair i don't know i feel like i'm more, most likely going to want to use a scrunchie than a hair clip because it's gonna like be pushing against the bed not comfortable so maybe i'll do it after after i give birth a hairbrush and a powder brush lay my hair didn't plan on bringing my toothbrush and toothpaste so i just decided to just go with this one that i got from safeway so it comes with a little toothbrush and then the toothpaste i think that should be enough for me bar soap i don't know if, i can't remember if they provide soap but i'm gonna just bring my own soap um because i don't want to i was gonna bring liquid soap but i don't want it to leak in my suitcase and just ruin stuff so i'm just gonna stick to bar soap nipple butter because I'm gonna try to breastfeed. I had a hard time with Troy. Like my milk didn't come in until like maybe two weeks later. And it was really frustrating. So I don't know, maybe with second pregnancy will be different, but we'll try. I'll try my best. Bringing a washcloth. And then I plan on using this washcloth as well. So this will be for my body. Um, so it has this washcloth area and then the exfoliating side on the back. A scarf to go to sleep. Make sure my hair doesn't get messed up. And some edge control. So I gotta lay those edges. All right, so let's go over what I'm packing for baby girl. Maryland weather has been crazy, so I'm worried about the cold. So I got this cover for her car seat, and um, I think it, the opening is right here in the front. Um, and then it comes with a little pocket here, and then this also this net, so I can like see her and it's like breathable. But yeah, so I plan on packing this. We'll see, because I might just end up just using a blanket, which I'm also packing. But um, I just decided to just bring this just in case because it's really cold. Next up is skincare because I know they're going to probably give her her first bath. And one thing I didn't like is that they when they gave Troy his first bath, they were using Johnson. And I'm not really a fan of Johnson. Cameron doesn't look straight. I'm not really a fan of Johnson. So I am bringing her uh, the Mastella body lotion. I'm not sure if they're going to put lotion on her, but... Just in case, the Mastella baby oil, um, the Dr. Bronner's uh, baby unscented organic magic bomb, and the gentle gen the Mastella gentle cleansing gel. So I'm bringing these. So if they do plan on giving her her first bath, I will provide the body wash and stuff. Next, I plan on packing these nipple covers and they come in this little bag. I said before, I don't know if my milk will come in that soon, but if it does, these will come in handy. All right, guys, so next up, I have this cute swaddle. I love this thing so much. I think it's so cute. And it actually kind of matches the robe that I have. I want to take a couple pictures with her wearing my robe and her and the swaddle as well as the headband it's so cute so i'm also packing three little hats just because i'm indecisive and i know that these are neutral colors that can go with the onesies that i plan on packing for her so i'm packing three onesies so this is the first one comes with a little bow but i decided to bring an extra bow because this one is also really cute too so it can go with this. Then this particular set, this is a second onesie. So it comes with the mittens, which I've been told that they don't stay on the hands, but it's okay. Um, comes with a bow. Then it comes with a short sleeve onesie, a long sleeve onesie, and then a birth cloth. So I just decided to just bring the whole set. This is the third onesie outfit that I was talking about. So I'm just going to stick. Let me show you guys real quick. So I'm just going to stick the mittens and the headband inside. Fold it. And then roll it up. Next up are blankets. So I plan on bringing this one because my best friend Tandria got her this beautiful blanket. I wish I had one for Troy. It's so cute and it has her name on it. And I just thought it would be cute for her to have some pictures with her in the hospital using this blanket. So I'm going to bring this for that. And then the other one is, um, remember I was saying that I didn't know if I want to use the blanket or the 
um, Kirsty cover for when she's going home just to cover up and she so that she's not exposed to the um, ooh, pregnancy brain just so she's not exposed to the cold so this blanket's pretty nice and warm it's not too thick but I think it'll be nice for her to use maybe if the car seat cover is not good enough I'm packing these two at this point I feel like I'm being extra but I'm just packing two white onesies just in case you just never know so I'm gonna pack these as well two pacifiers I don't know if she will take a pacifier but we'll see my last thing is this breastfeeding pillow you just wrap it around yourself I actually use this for Troy wrong way okay so you wrap you wrap it around yourself like this okay so you wrap it like this and then you have the baby breastfeeding and it's nice I actually lost a piece I gotta go look for this there's like a piece that's supposed to be connected to it but it's not fitting around my stomach right now because obviously the baby's in there but yeah it's very convenient I like it all right so here's baby girl's bag I know it looks so big I know I'm crazy it's okay it's okay I think it's the blankets the blankets are making it look big my bag is packed my other bag is packed all right guys that wraps up my what's in my hospital bag video I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully the next time I see you guys I'll be introducing you to baby Z have a blessed day Bye.